fact that Ireland has a number of infant formula manufacturers, for example, already located in the country is a key opportunity for Ireland. I believe that when quotas go in 2015, we'll have an ever-increasing milk supply. I think bringing innovation to that milk supply in terms of bringing the product up the value chain will be an advantage for all stakeholders. So you'll see Glanbia continue its agenda in terms of developing innovative products because a lot of consumers, both in Ireland and across the globe, increasingly recognise that milk fundamentally is a very low-processed, nutritious food product and can play a really important part in a healthy, balanced lifestyle. So the extent to which we can bring innovation either in our own right or as an ingredient for our customers, we'll continue to dial up that agenda. I think Glanbia has been to the forefront as an innovator in food. We've taken, for example, in our large operations in the US, whey, which was, back in the years, a problem product of cheesemaking and developed really exciting applications for protein and particular whey protein. So we have a number of innovation centres. We've one here in Ireland where we work on a lot of consumer facing products. We've a number in Idaho in the US as well. And we've a number spread across various of our facilities around the globe. So innovation, I believe, has been and will be key to the strategic development of Glanbia. The interesting thing about Glanbia now is that uh, we have over 5,200 employees. Our employees, a lot of them based both in Ireland and the US, but we have a direct presence now in over 32 countries. So we're taking a very strong core capability in dairy and taking it both as an ingredient and a consumer product across the globe. In our performance nutrition business, we have branded sports nutrition products, which really play in a very specialised sense to the nutritious functionality, particularly of dairy protein. So we're quite innovative in that space, and while the origin of the brand is in the US, they travel very well across the globe. So we are strong in a number of regions, such as the UK, Germany, Brazil, Australia, and with that direct presence now, we'll continue to expand our footprint, both as a very solid, innovative ingredient supplier and indeed as a branded consumer business. I think the continued evolution of Glanby's strategy will have a number of different components. I think we have some really nice organic growth opportunities where we can bring the ingredients that we have at the moment to further value through investment in our facilities around the globe. We would like to inject further pace in our strategy by acquisition. Uh, we always have an interesting pipeline of opportunities that we're looking at. And we're interested in opportunities that spread both the ingredient space as a business to business, organization and also the branded consumer space. So we're always interested in looking at various brands, various ingredient sets that we believe are complementary to the offerings that we have. The other piece that I think is interesting about Glanbia is that we're very comfortable in the joint venture and alliance model. So we're always interested in looking for partnerships and strategic alliances that I think has been very good for all our stakeholders in terms of the development of the Glanbia story. There's always opportunities for entrepreneurs. Um, Glanby is clearly an organisation of scale now at over three billion of revenue. But I think actually what's interesting about even Glanby as an organisation is that I often say we're not so large that even we like to encourage entrepreneurial flair. So I think generally, absolutely, there's a recognition of the role that food plays in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. And whether that's in mainstream food or whether it's in niche opportunities opportunities for individuals, I think there is indeed great opportunity. I think Ireland has a particular advantage in the food space. We would be very excited about the opportunities for Ireland when quotas are eliminated in Europe in 2015, because I think there is a quality, sustainability and traceability part that Ireland can leverage indeed on a, on a global scale. So whether that's on a small scale as an individual entrepreneur, or on a larger scale for an organisation such as Glanbia, I think there's a very really good opportunity there.